bring it on. That's the message from one of the three Democrats facing an emotionally charged expulsion vote tomorrow in the state house with three different groups planning protest at the state capitol. Social media has now dubbed them the Tennessee Three, and as they await the historic vote, you might be surprised to hear that Gloria Johnson admits she should face consequences for her protest against gun violence last week that interrupted the House session. She sat down for a one on one interview with our chief investigative reporter, Phil Williams. Phil, she had a lot to say, I'm sure. That's right, and as you know, we heard from House Speaker Cameron Sexton yesterday, who argued that the breach of House rules was so egregious that the three should be expelled. Today, we're hearing from Gloria Johnson from Knoxville, who faces that expulsion vote tomorrow, along with Justin Jones of Nashville and Justin Pearson of Memphis. Even though she admits she broke House rules, Johnson tells me Republicans will not like what she has to, has to say. So if the speaker said, go to the well and apologize, promise you won't do this again. I refuse to apologize. I want to be heard. I want to defend myself. I want to tell the people of this state what happened and why. Gloria Johnson says if House Speaker Cameron Sexton and the Republican supermajority want to fight, they can have it. I have no interest in making any deals. I want to speak the truth in front of the people who sent me here. If it goes on a party line vote, you're going to lose. It, it absolutely, it, it, and I, it will be, if it's an expulsion, it will be a partisan, the first partisan expulsion in the state of Tennessee, in Tennessee history. What do we want? Gun control! What do we want now? The political uproar that has shaken the Tennessee legislature follows the deadly shooting at Nashville's Covenant School that drew hundreds, perhaps thousands of protesters to the state capitol demanding action on gun violence. With protesters chanting outside the House chamber, Johnson joined Representatives Justin Jones and Justin Pearson in a protest that disrupted the House proceedings. You knew you were violating the rules. I knew I broke a rule and I knew there would be a consequence. So what do you think was the appropriate response? You know, I don't know, maybe some sort of censure for a bit of time, um, you know, possibly losing committees for the rest of this session. But I never in a million years thought that they would go to expulsion. Call it first bill, Mr. Clerk. Which brings us to the why. Johnson says on that historic day, she and her colleagues wanted to be able to acknowledge the protesters in the gallery and to acknowledge their pain. Instead of focusing on real problems that need real solutions, just like the killing of children. Out of order. But Speaker Sexton repeatedly cut off any mentions of the issue on everyone's mind. Again, uh, we need to do something about gun control. Uh, Representative Pearson, this is your last warning. Either stay on the bill as is or you will not be called on. This is your last warning. I'm asking you politely to stay on the legislation. Representative Pearson. Okay. Uh, this will be the last bit, but asking politely that we listen to the cries of the people outside these doors. Which is why she says they did what they did. My hope, our hope, this has always been about lifting those voices that are not being heard about gun violence. As for what happens next? They're holding the cards. They can bring the resolution or they can, can cannot bring it. And I am so ready for them to bring that and for us to have this hearing in front of all of the citizens of Tennessee. The other interesting part of her story, Gloria Johnson is a retired school teacher and she says the only person in the legislature who has the personal experience of being at a school where there was a shooting. She says she looks forward to making her case not only to the House, but also to all Tennesseans. Hunter? Certainly a unique perspective, Phil, thank you.